All right, my friends, this is Clover, and today we are solving a long-expected parody by Philip Newman. This is an even consecutive pairs uh, and just regular Sudoku, no odd cells here. So what are we doing? So we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. We also have some gray squares, and every digit that goes in a gray square must be even, so 2, 4, 6, or 8. And finally, we have some white dots. Digits that are separated by a white dot have to be consecutive, meaning one of them is one greater or one less than the other. Not all possible white dots have necessarily been given. You could have other pairs of digits elsewhere in the grid that are consecutive that don't have that white dot. So this is a beautifully symmetrical looking grid. Let's see if it plays out as symmetrically while we're solving it. So let's start by fiddling in our even digits. So we have four and six here. So we have two remaining, it's two and eight. They'll go there and there. And now we need a six here because that's our only remaining even digit. Here we need a two and eight because that's all we have remaining in the column. They'll go there and there. And here we have a four that we need to place because that is our only remaining even digit. Now this could be either two or six. This could be either four or eight. When I first looked at this, I very nearly got tricked into immediately filling this in as four and immediately filling this in as six. Be careful with that because I was just looking at these squares of four cells, assuming that they all had to be distinct from each other. That is not in fact the case. So let's move on to our consecutive dots. So here we've got a two. It is surrounded by 1 and 3. 4 can only be next to 3 or 5. This digit can't be a 3 because there's already a 1, 3 pair in the region. So that'll be 5, and then that will be either a 3 or a 5. Now these cells contain 7 and 9, and we can't distinguish these just using the 8 because 8 is in fact next to both of those. 6 is consecutive with 5 and 7, and because there's a 5 in this column, we're going to make that a 7. And then this can still be either a 5 or a 7. 8 is consecutive with 7 and 9, and now we've placed a 7 in the column, so we'll place our 7 and 9 there. And previously I left this kind of up for interpretation, whether this is going to be a 5 or 7. That's because these are in two different regions. Because these are in the same region, we know already that they're different from each other, so we can immediately fill in those two digits. Now 8 is going to be with 7 and 9, again in the same region, put them there and there. And I need 1, 3, and 5 here, and the only one of those that can go next to 6 is going to be a 5. 4 goes next to either 3 or 5. There's a 5 in the column, so we're going to fill that in there. And then this will be either 3 or 5. And this, in fact, has to be a, a 7 or 5, so it's going to be a 5, because there's a 7 in the row. So that's a 5, that's a 3, that's a 1, and that's a 3. 2 is next to 1 or 3, so in this case it is going to be next to a 1. So we need a 1-3 pair on either side of our 2, which will go there and there because we have 3 and 1 in the columns. That will make this a 3 and a 1, and then we now know that's a 5 and a 7, and that is going to resolve the rest of the region. Now this 8 has to be adjacent to a 9. Now let's start doing some Sudoku before we complete the last couple of even cells and the last couple of consecutive dots. So here we need a 9 and a 7 to finish the column off, so those will go there and there. Here we need a 1 and a 3 to finish the column off, so they will go there and there. We need to place a 3 in one of those two cells, and we need to place a 7 in one of those two cells. Okay, so now we've got 1s there and there, so there's a 1 in one of those cells. That's not going to help me a ton just yet. Uh, how about 7 in this corner region? So I have a 7 there and I have a 7 there, so I have a hidden 7 in the region that's going to go right there. And symmetrically here, I have a 3 here and a 3 here. And so I have a hidden 3 in this region that's going to go right there. Now I need to finish this column with 4, 5, and 6. That can't be a 5, so that's a 4 or a 6. And I'm also going to finish this column with 4, 5, and 6, and that can't be a 5. So that is also going to be a 4 or a 6. In this row, I still need a 1 and a 5, and I can place them. And in this row, I need a 9 and a 5, and I can place them. And just to be clear, that's because I have two 5s in these two positions. These are now going to be 2, 4, 6, and these are now going to be 4, 6, 8, and that's not a 4. Okay, so where to? 9 in this region can only go in this position, so this has to be either 6 or 8, and we can't disambiguate that yet. We need 2, 3, 6, 8 in some combination here, and that can't be a 3. We know 3 is going to be in one of those two cells. Here we need 1, 2, and 4. 
And how on earth did we, ah, uh, because the one can't go in any of those cells, so one has to go there. And I was looking out for that because that was going to be a symmetrical deduction with this nine I placed earlier. So these are going to be two, four, seven, and eight. That's not a seven. Okay. So now I think the only thing we can really do to make forward progress is to put some odd digits next to these even cells with the consecutive marks. So we can't use three or seven here. We can't use three or seven here. This also can't be one or five because those appear in the column already. So that actually has to be a nine. So that's gonna be an eight and it's going to be next to a seven. And I bet we get something similar over here. This can't be three, five, nine, or seven because there's a seven in the row. So that'll be a one next to a two. So now these will be four, five, and six in this order by Sudoku. Those can't be five, that can't be four, that can't be a six. That cannot be a three because there's a three in the column now, and that'll be a two. And I'm just cleaning up using some classic Sudoku techniques at this point. I've got a seven in the column, that makes that an eight. And this is going to be an eight, okay. And then I can eliminate two there, making this a two. I have a four, six pair that makes this a five, and a four, six pair that makes this a five as well. In this row, I'm going to need a one and a six, which will go in this order. And I think that all we're gonna need now is classic Sudoku. Four there, eight there, nine there, and two there. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's A Long Expected Parody. I really enjoyed that one. That was a very clean solve path, and I really enjoy Odd Even as well. If you want to check that out yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video. And I will I will see you again in, I think, one day from now is the point where I'm going to be caught back up with my solve videos. Sorry, I've been taking a little break from them. Things have been a little hectic for me lately with uh, preparing for SudokuCon in April. See you next time.